वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर विनय बावकर गाइज टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री बेसिक डिजीजेस इट इज मलेरिया डेंग्यू एंड चिकनगुनिया दीज डिजीजेस अफेक्ट मेजर पॉप्युलेशन इन द वर्ल्ड स्पेसिफिकली मोर इन एशिया गाइज प्लीज नोटिस दिस वीडियो इज फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशनल पर्पज ओनली and should not be used as a replacement for expert medical advice so we start with malaria malaria is caused by mosquito the organism responsible for malaria is parasite called as plasmodium parasite there are specifically four types of malaria plasmodium falciparum plasmodium vivax plasmodium ovel and plasmodium malaria incubation period of malaria is from 10 days to 4 weeks the symptoms of malaria include fever sweats shaking chills headaches tiredness muscle aches nausea and vomiting and diarrhea the diagnosis of malaria is done by either peripheral smear for malarial parasites or malaria antigen and the treatment includes the newer medicine for malaria like artemether and lumefantrine or the traditional one that is chloroquine now we'll be talking about dengue guys as you know dengue is also caused by aedes mosquito bite the organism responsible for dengue is a virus called as dengue virus there are four types of dengue virus dengue 1 that is de1 den2 den3 and den4 the incubation period of dengue is from 4 to 6 days and the symptoms include sudden high fever severe headaches pain behind the eyes severe joint and muscle pain nausea vomiting the diagnosis of dengue is done by either ns1 or dengue igg igm treatment is symptomatic specifically iv fluids and watching the general condition of the patient the next fever is chikungunya that is also caused by aedes aegypti mosquito and the organism responsible for chikungunya is a virus alpha virus types alpha virus of the family toga viride the incubation period of chikungunya is 2 to 12 days and the symptoms include fever severe joint pain headache nausea fatigue and rash the diagnosis of chikungunya is done by chikungunya igg igm antibodies in the serum of the patient and the treatment is again symptomatic iv fluids and watching the general condition of the patient so guys we have seen the information about the basic infectious diseases affecting major population specifically in asia i hope you will find this information very useful for your purpose take care guys goodbye